Alright, welcome back to my Let's Play of Gene Forge 1. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We are here again in the village of Vakery, as we always seem to be. If you recall, last time we went to the west gate of the Gene Forge complex and we found the, a second Drake canister, which is really helpful. But now we have to decide what we're going to do, which is, seems to be what we're always in. That's the situation we're always in. I'm going to say something. I was reviewing things I had done in my previous playthrough. And I think I screwed up by giving the servant mine and the mine core those shaper, those mine nutrients. There was perhaps better uses for it for our purposes, but oh well, who cares? Live and learn. Who knows? We may or may not uh, succeed in doing everything there is to do. And maybe that's not important to do. But anyways, let's see. What should we do next? I am thinking we, we can either go to the Vats, which is the next area after the West Gate. We have the Power Core, which really stinks. We have the Shaper Crypt, which is a the, like the bonus area of the game. Very dangerous. Full of really good prizes, though. We have the Guarded Docks, which is where those, which is the escape area, escape zone, full of super powerful Shaolai. And we have the front gate, which is supposed to be really guarded. This we've already done, and of course we did this. Huh. Or we could go and fight Gesh at the Great Temple. But you know what? I, I don't think. Well. If Odius clearly recognizes that Gesh is not doing what he ought to do, I, I I have to think that he's gonna think that his duty is really not to kill a rogue shaper, but rather rather to let the council know. Yes, we're gonna try to deny Gesh the Gene Forge. We're not gonna help him. He sounds like a maniac who wants to use the Gene Forge for himself and become powerful and a god on earth. No, no. So I think we're going to do the VAT this time. If I recall, this is another dangerous area that has a ambient damage in this region. In the area, kind of annoying. You enter the VAT region of the research halls. Shaper work always requires a large quantity of chemicals. Some neutral, some noxious. Those substances need a safe place to be mixed and stored, well away from the researchers. These tunnels were such a place. However, when Susha Island was abandoned, the people didn't, here didn't have time to properly clean out this area. The vats had been left to fester and rot. The result is simple and unpleasant. The air is hazy and heavy with foul substances. It's hard to see far away from you, which at least makes it harder for enemies to see you. You have to struggle to not start choking. In the shadows, you hear strange, alien, gurgling noises and the sounds of clawed feet against stone. So, you know, again, they didn't clean up their mess, which is, you know, just great. Good job, that chitin. Ooh, wait a second, what do we have on? We have just regular shit. Let us, hoo hoo hoo, hoo 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 hoo. Let's look at this. Okay, so, regular chitin armor gives us armor plus seven, plus 10 to stun resistance at 10 armor. 10 pounds, I mean. A vat chitin. Same weight. Much better. Five more points of armor. Same stun resistance, but also 10% to poison and acid resistance. So this is very good. Now vat boots also give a, a negligible bonus to acid and poison resistance. But I don't think it's enough for us to worry about, to be honest. That's actually over here. What's, what's our... Oh, there's the, the poison going. Right now we're at 70% acid and poison resistance. Now with the armor... I think we may need to go into... Hmm. Okay, that gives us up to 80%. Nice. So let's see what there is to do here. To die. 
perchance to dream. Ugh, this is annoying. Nothing. Let's see what... Research vats. Do not enter without protective gear. That's great. We're pretty protected. But our creations are the liability here. Bat control. See what's in the back control. Oh, geez, a mine. Haha! -ha. You're not gonna stop us this day, beast man. <laughs> uh oh. This room is full of large shaper control panels. Those spe these specimens were the same sort of life form as the half organic, half stone control panels you found elsewhere, except much larger and more complicated. With the size and complexity, however, comes delicacy. Huh. They have much shorter lifespans. Even if they had not been seared and poisoned by the environment, they would still they still would likely have died years ago. They are inert and useless now. No, no, no. They're all let, let me let me go right by the mine and get killed. Ugh. It's dummies. Let's see, curing pods, curing spores, nice. So it's basically a dud room for us, but you know, whatever. The mines are not dead. <laughs> no, no. I imagine the mines were actually put here by the Shalai. Oh, and I'm dead. No. <laughs> well, that was terrible. Actually, you just stay right there. Let's see. Okay, you again. Mechanic skill. Okay. Do you see the antics? The shenanigans? I think that is kind of ridiculous. How far away do I have to be from it? Apparently farther than that. Hmm. Okay, what is our mechanic score? Thirteen? Hey. We do not have enough- oh, I I'm stupid. We don't have a score of fifteen. Okay, let's actually try this. Nope. Whoa! Apparently it can throw lead down range. <laughs> and then some. Let's see, did I get both of them? Yes, I did. Good job, Evodius. Here, get that one too. Okay, whatever. We can take a stupid Glock. Erglock. The more powerful version. Oh, jeez. Oh my goodness. I, I almost spoke too soon, I think. What are you doing? Get him. Why are you going around? Obvious opening right here. No, they want to go around. So, oh, we got 20 experience. Oh man, maybe we should have not disarmed those ones. Since experience is becoming a bit difficult to come across. Although, if we do go into that Shaper Crypt, that's an area we can get experience in. Oh, 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 oh! Canister time! Mass Restore. Alright. Is that the second level that we have? Yeah, oh no, it's the third level. Jeez. Alright, cool. Restoration pod, that's nice. Some dead, broken batons. Some Reaper Thorns. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take the Reaper Thorns. Some Thorn Thorns. Pretty much garbage now. <laughs> oh jeez. Save. 
Let's save it again. Yes. Alright, you. Get over here. Oh my goodness gracious, that is a strong mind. Jeez. I guess this is the stealth way. I, I bet, you, bet you that if we went the other way, there would be like fighting or poison. Oh, there's a servant mine. Can we talk to him? Is he alive? You are amazed to find that this servant mine is still alive. It was created with filtered nostrils and a thick skin designed to protect it from the harsh atmosphere. It looks very pleased to see a shaper. At last I can at last I can get instruction. Thank you for coming at last. I am mine, Caralta. Things have been very difficult. Well what difficulties have you had here? The outsiders that came! Outsiders intruders picking through your secrets. They, they, there were mines placed here mines oh mines. Mines placed here to deal with such intrusions. They destroyed them. Or those that were still active anyway. Poor me, poor weak me. I did all I could. I did what defending I could, but my abilities were weak. But what defenses did you make? I turned the power spirals back on, and I heated the frozen substances and burned them, making nox noxious gases. And I made defenders, although they soon went rogue. And I made mines. I was very thorough. <laughs> Powerful mines, yes. Can you clean the air? Now that you are here, it is safe. I can start to pump the poison gas out of the air. And you hear the sound of distant fans. Can you shut off the power? Or let's actually, can you deactivate the mines? Now that you are here, it's safe. It will take some time, but I will deactivate the mines. It will be safe for you later. You hear Caralta re release some sort of control spores. Can you shut off the power? Now that you're here, it is safe. I can turn off the spirals that are heating the chemicals. You hear a distant clang. Can you get the rogues to stop attacking me? Now that you're at, you're here, it is safe, but it is beyond my power. Glock mines are too strong for me to control. I am sorry, Shaper. You will have to deactivate them yourself. Well, I don't need anything more from you. All right. Let's see. Tell me more about these halls. The mine looks confused. The Great Research Halls of Susha Island? Home of the greatest mines of your people? What can you not know? Well, why was this island abandoned? Well, when Dennett came to give me his final... I thought Danette was a... Uh, I think they're just... whatever. Maybe servant mines can't tell the difference between human females and males. That's a possibility, actually. Because, uh... Because I think Danette is a female. Because we know... What's his face? The teacher... Death Neil is a, a dude. And Karada, I think, is a guy. Wait, I was ambiguous. That was ambiguous. But Danette was a female, I'm almost certain. I remember Cyrus the Drake mentioned it, and Cyrus is ancient and very intelligent. But maybe the servant minds have difficulty determining the two. Or maybe, you know, he just the the develop the designer um, what's his name? Um I can't remember his name. Jeff Vogel didn't keep his pronouns straight. Who knows? Maybe it doesn't matter. Let's just go on. When Danette came to give me his final instructions, he said there that the power here was deemed unsafe and unstable. He said that it worried the council, and it worried him. But I don't think he was talking to me just through himself. But I still heard. He did tell me, though, that when the Shapers returned, if he wasn't among them, they should see his shade. Oh, wow. Who was Danette? How can you not know one of his fame and intelligence? He is the head of research here. And his shade? Where is it? He said... He left it in the holding cells area, in a secured location. Hmm. Let's see, anything else? What is the layout of these halls? Well, just east of here is the main research center. North of that is the holding cells. East of that is the quarters. And east of the holding cells and north of the quarters is the Gene Forge. But be careful in the holding cells, though. I know that it is full of rogues. It has been so for years. Even the intruders couldn't clear it out. So what is the Gene Forge? I can tell you what chemicals went into it, but I don't know what it does. All I know that it is like a huge, more powerful version of the learning canisters we made here. Much, much more powerful. Oh, we had a time making the ingredients for it. The stories I could tell. 
<laughs> the time that we made, you know, hydrochloric acid and distilled it and made it even more powerful. That was the halcyon days. Mm -hmm. But and then there was a day that Danette accidentally breathed in some sulfuric acid cloud. Oh, you should have seen him sputter. How might I use the Gene Forge? I don't know. I don't know anything about its power or how to tap it. Huh. Again, the servant mine is very specialized in his knowledge. He's basically a chemist. Probably a treasure trove of chemical knowledge. Wow. Anyways, alright, well that's all for now. Thanks. Let's actually save again since I'm not wanting to do that all over again. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Very good. Wow, so, well there we are. So we need to see, find Danette Shade. He said. But now we can, what's it call it, explore this area without having to deal with all that poison damage, hopefully, in the air. The power to heat and preserve the chemical goop made here runs to the vats through crystal fiber conduits running under the stone floor. The power itself comes from the chamber ahead of you. The air is heavier and more toxic here and extremely hot as well. Ambient magical energy starts to make you feel very ill. The room ahead is a very hostile environment. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, they're not kidding. <laughs> I'm dead. Well, good thing I saved my game. Jeez. All right, well, let's just do this. Aha. Let's fight the Glock. Oh, it's just a regular Glock. Never mind. Can we undo these? Oh, I did. Okay, cool. I guess those high power mines were just there to prevent you from coming through that way unless you were willing to invest in a good amount of what do you call it? Uh, mechanics. Because usually in these games there's more than one way to get through any area. Which is kind of cool. Oh, I'm just kidding, it's not kind of cool, it's very cool. More games should be designed that way. Ah, these are Erglocks. Oh jeez, no! What are you doing, dummy? I don't know why he went around like that. Excellent. Can he get him? Nope. Oh, jeez. Dummy. There's some more. Locks on parade. Get him. There's the way out, apparently. Let us go out here. We'll get the autosave. That leads to the central labs. But we're not done here. Although we have unlocked this area. Made it passable. Apparently, mine Caralta was not quite as true as word is. Oh no! Oh, my poor Drake. Oh. What happened? be so bad. He clearly deceived us. I don't think he deceived us, I just think... I think... I think Jeff Vogel deceived us. 
once more. <laughs> oh man. Two drakes are dead. Oh jeez. Well, you know, I was gonna I said I might remake those drakes now that we got that second canister of create drake. So maybe I have that chance now. Without having to just absorb them myself, which always makes me feel bad. Get him! Good job. Oh! Oh, I didn't notice him. Arr. Get him. That happens when you're fighting creations that are of the same kind as what you have. It's easy to get confused. And who's it? No, not that. Yes, you. Get him. All right. Well, I think that was everybody, or is it not? his face. Now we'll have to remake Spitfire and Cryomo. Pyro, whatever I'm calling him now. <laughs> oh, there's someone up there. Shape Boots, a Mica Band. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> Let's go. That would be very good if you were playing like a solo build, like a an agent or a guardian if you're playing as a solo run. I think some of these areas would actually be easier. These ones with the ambient damage. Because a lot of these areas, the hardest thing is keeping your creations alive. Whereas some of the areas with tons and tons of powerful creations, the hard thing is not. I mean, uh, Solo Run has a more difficult time. Because it doesn't have creations to tank. Let's see, what's in here? Ah, oh, major healing pods. Wow, there's a lot of blocks in here. Anybody else? Stupid clocks. Come out now and I'll clean your clocks. <laughs> They're like, put away battle. Alpha's got me a Glock. A little trip to the funky whatever spot. The funky vats spot. That doesn't make any sense, sorry. Come on, everybody, get over here. Stupid creations, you don't get to decide where you're going. Oh my goodness. See? Because of that, you almost let Avodius get killed. Oh, jeez. Dumb, dumb creations. Get away. There we are. No, what are you doing? Good job. Loyal Frostum, got him. Get over here, dummy. No, I'm having a fit. It's poisonous. Oh, is it poisonous? I didn't know. Come on. Come on, get over here, dum-dums. Run. Run. Oh, there went another... Well, Cypress just... Did the dust. <laughs> wow. Oh, where are you, dummy? Get over here. Sheesh. Wow. Well, let's continue on. We'll just remake them all. I mean, Vodis is like, I'm sick of you guys. You don't want to... 
obey directions and stay alive, that's fine. It's just fine. I don't even care. Get going. These stupid vats hurt you every time you walk by them. Is this the dangerous area? Let's see what's in here. Anything? Why is everyone going the wrong way? Oh, I hate you all. Go up here, dum-dums. Oh my goodness. Wow. My creations are just stupid. Drakes are dumb. I'm just gonna put that out there. Drakes are idiots. I would have thought they were smart. Hey, stupid! Get over here! Oh my goodness, we need to go back to town. Reheal. Heal up. Oh my goodness. Should we try just going with these four? <laughs> my goofy creations just let me down, I have to say. I was very let down. I play myself. They're like, as you should. You know, I'm blaming myself just like, you know, maybe like a mob boss does. People are in big trouble. Oh, what are you guys doing? Are, you, are we all selected? What? <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on, you guys. I don't care if you feel sick. Oh my goodness, get over here. Why are we not moving? Oh my goodness. That was some weird stuff. Bat chitin. Yeah, not even bat chitin to save that servile. Well, this is really stupid. I think Vodius is learning a valuable lesson. Sometimes creations are liabilities as well as assets. Oh my goodness, get away from this stupid vat. Now let's go over here. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious here. No, no, just check it out right here. Okay, no. I don't think there's anything worthwhile here. So let's go. We've done what we needed to do. The damage has been done. Oh, Evodius, get your behind in here. Oh my goodness, dude. For reals. You will be destroyed. Sometimes it's better to do these levels with in combat mode. But it's very tedious with a large party. Which makes me wonder if I want to do the, the power core. I'm not sure I do. Hmm. We'll think about it. Alright, well, the, the servals of Vakri are wondering what happened to all my creations. <laughs> They're like, wow, that was a, a rough day? I'm like, yes, rough days, right. So let's take number four. But what this does do, this gives us opportunity to, we have this agent robe, if you remember. Those are some nice upgrades. Transference robe, no. We want the shaper robe. And we're gonna take the shaper robe and make some new creations since our old ones all died <laughs> which is terrible now I recall something right quick here you are named
Cyprus. And you, imaginatively, I don't remember if I gave him a name, but his name's gonna be Hill. <laughs> You can call Vodius Dr. Green Thumb. As far as what's it call it? Drakes are concerned. I was looking where the canisters of Create Drake are. And, because I couldn't remember where the other ones are. There's one I remember in Gesh's area. But I didn't know if I wanted to attack Gesh with this character. I didn't know if that made sense. Then I remembered, no, that I didn't remember, so I didn't remember, I did not remember. So I looked it up, and there's one somewhere in this patrol dell, they said, behind a pillar, hidden behind a pillar. So I must have missed it, but I fi figured we can go grab this canister of Create Drake. Ah, I think we found our culprit. Yes, we did. Look, it's right here. I totally did. I totally did not see that. Create Drake. All right. Of course, that also means we can create Pyro Drakes. Or Cryo Drakes, I mean Pyro Drakes. Oh, I guess this isn't where I thought. Where I thought it was. I thought there was a Servile who caught luck here. But no, there was a Mage here, or a Shaoloi. Shaoloi. Trojkov Shaoloi. The show lie? I can never remember how to pronounce that. All right, let's go back to town. Now, with the Shaper robe on, how much experience do we have now? Eh, a little bit better than we did, not much. Okay. Now let's, we have it on? Yes, we do. So now we can look at this. There's Drake, 60 points if we want, or we can make cryo drakes, which are a modified drake designed to breathe out magical sprays of ice shards. With its powerful frame, thick skin, and punishing melee attack, this is one of the strongest and most versatile creations available. Cryo Drakes are really cool. <laughs> no pun intended, but there it is. They are like they're top tier in this game. And they they will do you well throughout the entire series. Although by the end they get I don't know, they kind of take a beating compared to some of the other things available, but they still are really reliable and I like them. I think they're really cool. So yes, Cryo Drakes really really powerful. However, we don't quite have enough essence to really make three of them and have anything left over. So what we will do is compromise for now, and we're going to make three drakes. But these drakes will have two more levels added to them than they had before. Alright, now let's look at them. 301 hit points, 17, 17, 19, 17. Wow, that's really powerful. <laughs> All right, well, there we are. Let's rename them again. Welcome back, Spitfire. He doesn't know that he's not actually the same one. It's sad, but, you know, whatever. No. Pyromote. And we'll just name him. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not Frosting, because I don't know if he's ever going to get upgraded to ice, so we'll call him Flame Tongue, like I was still going to. Frosting is dead, unfortunately. Alright, well, that was a drawn out and kind of annoying episode, but we, we did get through it. Explored that area, got a canister. Found out some more details about the history of Susha Island and upgraded our creations again. So, thank you for joining me on this episode, for this episode of my Let's Play of 
Gene Forge One here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all.